The key that I would say is I'll actually open up another version of Visual C Sharp Express because a lot of times it is difficult getting started. Uh, one of the differences with uh, C Sharp Express is we actually added documentation for the beginners. So um, you can actually go through here um, and it'll tell you, hey, you want to create your first console application or you want to create your first Windows application. And uh, I'll just click the Windows application as an example. And we literally walk you through step by step creating a new project, designing your Windows form, setting uh, specific values. In this case, we're actually creating a web browser. And we'll have a couple methods for how to go ho home, backward, forward, and so forth. So we'll literally walk you through the code. And you can copy and paste uh, this code. And we actually have this nice capability that copies our code for you and puts it on the clipboard. So there you can literally you know, within five minutes, walk through and have a uh, created um, web browser. We also have the same thing for, click back here, for a console application. So if you never created a console application, then we have the um, full uh, screen saver with the C Sharp Starter Kit. So what I'll do is just um, jump back to our Windows application and create our first app, and in this case, uh, Viewer Toolbox, and we'll just dock it to the left here. Uh, let's see, what's a good example? Well, we'll do Hello World. So the form is what the user will see, right? Yeah, so... Maybe uh, you explain some of the basic Windows concepts, because sure. uh, me and you both are pretty advanced, right? But sure, sure. So I remember the first day I got Visual Studio, and I was like, what is going on here, and what do I need to do? <laughs> sure. So uh, w a form is basically a representative a representation of a Windows application. So if you're familiar with the Windows application when it opens up, uh, that's your basic form. Um, you have a bunch of controls that you can drag and drop onto your form. Um, for example, a label control, which sets basic text here. Um, just change that to hello. You can. Um, Select both of these, and just for demo purposes, we'll make this font nice and larger. Um, and one of the keys here is whenever you need to change attributes or how um, the appearance or actions for uh, these controls, we have this thing called the properties window, which you can change. And in this case, I'm going to change the, the font here and make this 14, and we'll make it bold. So there we see uh, you know, our basic action. Another thing is we have these snap lines. So if you ever need to align your controls, just a great feature to be able to make it really just rad to be able to align your controls. Do that again. Sure. So there we see our control. It'll tell us exactly what we want to do. The red line here is if you can zoom in, it's actually aligning the text within the control. So. Um, uh, great feature. Uh, so let's. What we'll do is add to simple code, and what this is is basically a click event. So you can think of it. It's event-based programming, meaning if a button clicks, if a if a text box change, you run specific events. In this case, I'm going to call a message box dot show, and that's just going to open up a message box. Remember, you get. And now this is where I get lost. Sure. How do you know what? How do you learn where where to start? You know, message box that show. How do you learn these names? Yeah, so that that is probably a difficult thing. And once once you start programming a little, you start uh, getting experience with what objects do what. Right. But we actually have, I believe, an expansion for these. And if you just, I'm not sure if you were able to see that. You right click, IntelliSense, and you click Insert Expansion. These are really great for. Um, either experienced programmers that are sick of just uh, having to get the, the language constructs right or syntax right, right, or beginning programmers. So here we actually see a whole list. If you need to add an if statement, you can just double click here and say if, and we'll just default to true. And let's go ahead and just add another expansion. And this time we'll go down and we see there's this thing called message box shell. And we'll just type, hello, world. So really, I see uh, the expansions as a great way for beginning programmers to learn what the specific syntax is and what the most common 
uh, controls are. So if we just run our application here. Now how are you running? You're hitting the little run button up there? Yeah, just hitting the little run button. Okay. Uh, if I click button one, we see hello world on our screen. Oh, and that's a message box. And there's our message box with the text, and, and we can make this as fancy as we want to. Um, so, so there's our basic application. We can do, um, let's do a couple other things. Let's add a breakpoint. And the way to add a breakpoint so you can inspect values is you basically click on this line right here. Okay. And what it's going to do is we click Start. And when I click on that button click event, it stops on the breakpoint. And we can jump in. And what we can do is actually look at these values simply by putting your mouse over it. We can inspect the values directly within our application. So there we're able to simply run our control and we see our hello world message box. And just simple values again, things that you can easily do. Um, other things we can mouse over different object types and, and see their particular values. So I see that this object, this was the button click was raised by uh, button one. So breakpoints are a way to uh, see how the app is actually running. Right, exactly. So you can you can basically walk through your application and see how it's running. Okay. So um, just another thing that you may notice here is this green text is text that um, is uh, new but saved. This yellow text is new code, but code that hasn't been saved. So if I just click Save here, you'll see that it all turns green. So, and if I close our file and open it again, you'll see that um, all the coloring's gone. So it's uh, nice and helpful to be able to see uh, what code is new, what code isn't new. A um, couple other things, um, let's see. A lot of times you're navigating big sources of code. What we can do is actually use outlining and collapse this to definitions. And that way you basically see the definitions within your code. So I know within this namespace, I have a class called form. And it has this form1 constructor and a button click event. So some basic things. Um, also, you can uh, basically tell it to close all but this. If you have a lot of windows open, it's a pretty convenient feature to use. And it'll close all your different windows in Visual Studio.